Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Great, great. How was your day today, guys? How was your day today? So oh, good. Not good. Why not good? So oh, good. All good. Yes. Okay. How good? How good? How much good? Good night, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you tonight? For me, very good. <laughs> good. <laughs> great, great. Wait a few minutes for your classmates. So what did you do today? I want to hear you. What did you do today? For me, I work from home. I stay at home. You stay at home? Yes. Okay. So how was it? Did you have a lot of work? Mm, not much. A little. A little? Okay. Very strange uh, because all day is very hard. Okay, that was really strange. Not much workload. Yeah. You, you didn't have too much workload. Today, no. Not today. Okay. That's good. So it was a chill day, a chill day, a relaxed day. Okay. Anyone else? What did you do today, Michelle? Good evening, teacher. Um, Hi, good evening. Work? What work did so you do today? <laughs> work? Really? Yeah. What's your schedule? Oh, well, mm, make reports and um, I, mm, uh, audit, make some audit. You did some um, audits? Yes. And uh, after that, I have to, um, I, sacar mejoras. Hacer, hacer, Areas eh, of improvement? Yes. Okay. What do you do with the areas of improvement of your employees? Mm, mm, I know. <laughs> uh, maybe uh, improvement about the... the Activation. Sobre las activaciones de los clientes. About activations, yeah, card activations or cell phone activations. Yes. Okay. And I have to make another thing. Make to do other things. Yes. Okay, you have to do all other things. Okay. Good, good. What about you? Darwin. Hello, teacher. My day is excellent. More was excellent. Okay, yeah. great. A lot of work. My schedule is the schedule. Eight a.m. Schedule. My schedule is from. My schedule is from eight a.m. to uh, five o'clock. From eight a.m. to five o'clock. From eight to five. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, guys. Let's turn on our cameras and let's start by checking our attendance. Okay. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. 
Thank you, Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Okay. Darwin Edgardo Ayala Leiva. Present teacher. Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. Present teacher. I, I am still driving. When I get home, I'm uh, You'll turn on. With... Okay. Yeah. Okay, Edwin. I understand. Flor de Maria Carballo Ugarte. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. No. Okay. Giovanni Alexander Menjiva Rivera. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. María Estela Varela Velázquez. Present. Excellent. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present, teacher. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. <laughs> Rosalina Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Thank you. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present, teacher. Zulma Rosaura López García. Thank you. Fidel Coreas Pascual. Adriana Stephanie Martínez Flores. Present, teacher. Margarita Stephanie Menjibar Contreras. Present. Excellent. Okay, guys. Today we're going to start talking about yesterday's topic. Have to for obligations. Easy. Very easy. So the first task, your first task is going to be working on positive, negative, and question. Um, just the way we always do. We always do this exercise. So it's very simple. The positive for obligations, remember this is for obligations. Okay. So we need to use have to. In positive, okay, we say, give me an example, positive. We have to study English. We have to study English, totally. I agree, <laughs> I agree with you. I yeah. agree with you. Okay, we have to study English. Excellent. What will be the negative? Study, study English. Again, again, it's been good. We? We? We not study study English. Okay, good, but we not have to okay, we have to study English. Hmm. What are what are we missing? Done. Don't, right? It's don't. Okay, good. We don't have to study. Oh, it's stuffy, stuffy. Okay, we don't have to study English. What's the question? What will be the question? That's it. We mm, done. Do. That's we. Mm, das. No. Do we? Do we? Do we have to study English? Okay. Yeah. That's it. So, what is the auxiliary? What is the auxiliary of this structure? What is the auxiliary of this structure? Do. Do, right? Very good. Do is the auxiliary. This is the auxiliary. Is not have. Okay. And just, just remember. Okay. So if I use the third person give me an example in third person anybody someone 
He has to clean her bedroom. Hmm. He has. Ah, sorry. He has to clean the bed, her bedroom. Okay, his bedroom. His okay. Bedroom. He has to clean his bedroom. Uh, he has to clean his bedroom. Negative. He doesn't have Excellent. clean his bedroom. He doesn't have to clean his bedroom. Okay, negative, I mean question. Does he have to clean his bedroom? Good. As simple as that. Simple. The auxiliary is do or does. We are still respecting the present simple. And yes, in third persons, in third persons, he, she, it, I will respect the third person rule. Okay. Be careful with that all the time. Questions? No questions. So positive, negative question. I say positive, you say negative, and someone else says the question. For example, um, it has to work. It has to work. It has to work. Negative. Carla. Um, it has to work. Ay, no, teacher. Estaba desconcentrada, perdón. Mm -hmm. Thinking about el bicho. Okay, good. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Mayra, negative. It doesn't have to work. It doesn't have to work. Okay. Question, Stephanie. Does he have to work? Does it have to work? Does it have to work? Okay, so that's what I did. I say positive, someone else says negative, someone else's question, and then you continue. Okay, el punto de este ejercicio, recuerden, es hacer cuantas oraciones sea posible en el tiempo que estemos juntos en esos grupos, okay? Y es un reto. Tú le pones el reto, el que inicia con la oración positiva, dice el nombre del que sigue y el que sigue ya sabe que le toca la negativa. Y así, el que hizo la negativa dice el nombre del que sigue, el que sigue ya sabe que le toca la pregunta y tiene que hacer una oración positiva para volver a empezar el ciclo. ¿Ok? Sí. El punto la es que todos, todos participen. Positive, negative question. Positive, negative question. ¿Ok? Good. Para algunos es primera vez que hacemos esto. So, help each other. Ayúdense entre sí, ¿ok? Let's go. Okay, Adriana, let's go. Asalia and Rafa. Welcome, Rafa. Recording in progress. Oh my God. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. This is about speaking. Speaking. Okay. I have to get home. I have. I have to get home. I have to get home. Ahora digamos el nombre de una compañera. Gloria. 
<laughs> Thank you. Yes. So I have to get home. Negative. Okay. I haven't. Mm -hmm. Eso es lo que vamos a. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que, la área de oportunidad que todos tenemos ahorita. Que tratamos de usar el have como el auxiliar. Pero ¿cuál es auxiliar? Miren el cuadrito que les envié en WhatsApp. Okay. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ah, good. So I. Okay. So I have to get home. Es que yo, yo no estaba ahí en el momentito porque tuve problemas con el audio y, y tenía la tormenta y tenía que ir entre ropa y todo eso. Entonces me desconecté. No estaba. Ok. Me estaba explicando. Good, good. Bien, entonces Glorita dijo, I don't have to. Glorita sería, I don't have to. I don't have to get home. Perfect. Ok. ¿Quién, eh, ¿quién sigue, Glorita? Mayra. Ok. okay. Question. Y Mayra, ahora Mayra sigue con otra positiva, ok? Keep going. ¿Otra positiva o question? Después de hacer la pregunta, usted dice una positiva y elige a Salia o... Adriana, para Adriana. que todos participen. Yeah. Ok, question. Do I have... Correct. Ok. Carla, es su turno. Eh, she has... She has... She has to... She has to dance today. Uh -huh. She has to dance today. Okay. Now please, please. here he, it's raining. It's raining here. Um in my in my house in my home, yes. Okay, so she says she has to she has to dance. Dance. Uh, dance. Today. Uh -huh. dance she has today. she has to dance today. She ah, okay. has to dance today. Um okay. Now say, Carla, say um, Stephanie, Rafa, Edwin, or Darwin. Ah, sigo yo. Yo oh. voy a decir la, la negativa. Okay. Y Darwin, la, interro la interrogación. Okay. Uh, she doesn't have to dance today. The interrogation mm -hmm. that she... That she as to dance mm. today. Have. 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 Yeah, yeah, have. Does she have to dance today? Perfect. Ya hiciste la pregunta. Ahora vamos a empezar el ciclo. Tú mismo, Darwin, haces una oración positiva y dices quién sigue con la negativa, de, ya sea Rafael o Edwin. Si sí, Edwin puede, porque va manejando. Ok. O que comience Rafael, el nuevo participante. Ah, sí, no lo había visto. <risa> The new participant. Solo nosotros hablando. <risa> The new participant. Es que se ha bañado, se ha rasurado. Es que chica te cobra la barba. Sí. Okay. Super bien. Ajá, la ok. Marca, <risa> It's okay. San Miguel. It's really hot. <risa> Ay. Ok, go with the positive. Ok, Darwin. Elige. Eh, oh, but wait. Yeah, he said the question, right? Okay. Positive. Sí, tiene que ser. Eh, my brother has to eat, eat in the morning. In the morning. Yes. Okay, my brother has to eat in the morning. Who's next? Rafa? Okay, negative. My brother doesn't have to eat in the morning. Perfect. Edwin. Hmm. He's driving. ¿Quién dirá la ¿Quién dirá who, la makes, who makes the question? Who makes the question? No Spanish. That's... Let's try let's try to avoid okay. Spanish. Okay. Sorry. Does my brother have to eat in the morning? No me escuchan, Leyasa. El ventilador. El, 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 el,
far, far away. ¿Qué es este televisor? Ajá. Eh, hago la the question. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Does she have to go to school in the morning? Okay. Okay. Sorry. Ada. Um, he has to use the lift. He has to use the lift. Uh -huh. He doesn't have to use the lift. The lift. lift. Who makes the question? Mm -hmm. Who makes the question? That she has to do this. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Who makes the next positive? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, she has to cook the dinner. Okay. okay. Say a name. Say a name, Michelle. Who makes the negative? Oh, okay. Mm. Ada. Yes, este, she does, she doesn't have to cook and dinner. Okay. Uh, Angela, question? Angela has problems Angela no oh, okay. with okay. the microphone. Okay. Continue, continue. Bye. <laughs> Don't I have to play the basketball? Do I have to play basketball? Do I? Do I? Do I have to play basketball? Good. The question. Okay. Uh, uh -uh. Uh, okay. Say another positive. That was a question. Do I have to play basketball? Now, negative. Just... That, that was a question. Do I yeah, have yeah, to yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, make another positive. Nelson, make uh, another positive. Um, um, I, I have to, I have to work tomorrow. Perfect. I have to work tomorrow. Now say the name of a classmate. You can say Fidel, Ophelia, Sulma, or Osmin. Yes. Nelson? Coreas. Uh, negative. Okay, Fidel. So I have to work tomorrow. Fidel, negative. <laughs> I don't know. Cassie Ophelia, I don't. I don't have to work tomorrow. I don't have to work tomorrow. Okay. Somebody, the question. Sulma, Osmin, Fidel. Um, sería, do I have to work tomorrow? Excellent. Otra positiva, Sulma. We have to travel on weekend. On the weekend, on the weekend. <laughs> on the, we have to weekend. travel on the weekend. Osmin, negativa. Negativa, negativa is I, I. Listen, uh, we have to travel on the weekend. To turn on the weekend is, is positive. Right, that's positive. Make it negative. We? We have. We have. Mm. We have. We have. Okay. Don't. We don't. We don't. We don't have to travel on the week. There you go. We don't have to travel on the weekend. Okay. Continue. We still have one minute. Fidel, no nos puede escuchar. Okay. Good. Okay. 
It is rainy here. It's raining. Okay, but it's rainy here is strong. There's a storm. Yes. Okay, but we can hear you. We can hear you. Do we have? Do we have? Uh, do we have to on the well, do to travel on the on the weekend? Do we yeah. have to travel on the weekend? Very good. Okay. Do one more. Do one more. Okay. Thank you, Richard. Go ahead. One more. You have one minute. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay. Hello, Angela. Y porque se vino, Ophelia. <laughs> Rápido se vino de regreso. Come on. Perdón, <laughs> Hubiera seguido practicando todavía cada un minuto. Teacher, me agarré en curva. Mi, guay. ¿Yo por qué? Porque sí, recién me conecté a la clase. Y ni sabía que estaba hablando. This is easy for you. No. Easy. Of course it is. Y si, lo, si lo analizas, es lo mismo, el mismo complemento. We have to work on the weekend, decían. We don't have to work on the week. Have to work on the weekend. Do we oh, yes. have to work on a weekend? Solo jugar con la auxilia. Simple, simple. Okay. Okay, so everybody. Sure, I have a question. Yes, please, Stephanie. Oh, okay. Uh, when I, I want to say uh, comer la cena. No se ocupa the dinner, sino que only cook dinner. But breakfast or lunch, can okay. I do or no? You you want to say, okay, have because, dinner? For example, I I want to say, I have to cook dinner right now. Cook dinner. Mm -hmm. But when I want um, to say lunch or breakfast, siempre sigo la regla de. Ahora, no... Está diciendo cocinar la cena, cocinar Ajá. el almuerzo, cocinar el, el desayuno. Of course, yes. Pero no se ocupa el T H E antes de dinner. The dinner. Ajá. Okay. Good question. THE sirve para decir que algo es muy específico, que algo o que algo es muy especial. I have to cook the dinner of my cousins. I have to cook the dinner of my cousins. Okay? Or for my cousins. Okay. Hey, Michelle, we have the dinner tonight. We have the dinner. Tenemos la cena hoy en la noche. Ya está en el contexto, que es la cena. Michelle ya sabe que es la, la cena. Um, ¿Pero we, es como daily routine? No, no agregaría el artículo. Eso es lo que ajá, le estoy aclarando. Uh -huh. uh, son tres cosas, ¿eh? ya iban dos. Una, the dinner for my cousins. cousins. Ok. Estoy tratando dinner como un objeto común. The dinner. Ok, the, the dinner está en contexto que es la cena de la que hablamos hace una semana que teníamos ahora. Ahora voy a ser bien específico. We have the dinner of the company. Ok, the Christmas dinner. The Christmas dinner of the company. Ok, si no está en el contexto soy específico de qué es la cena, la cena. Ok, y como usted lo estaba utilizando. I have to cook dinner. Eso ya es una rutina ya. Every day I have to cook dinner. I have to cook breakfast. I have to cook lunch. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. Uh, ahora bien. How do you say? Yo tengo que cenar todos los días. Yo tengo que almorzar. Yo tengo que desayunar todos los días. Mm. 
I have to dinner. Ajá, casi, casi. I have to dinner. Mm. Les enseñé en básico uno cómo se decía desayunar, almorzar y cenar. No estaba en su grupo. No, yo sé, yo sé, pero los demás. <risa> Me salvé. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Ah, pues para que no cause confusión. I have... Ok, I have to have dinner. Quiero ver, quiero ver. Uh, uh -huh. Oh my God, they're good. Nunca lo enseñaste. Egoísta. Se parece. No, no es tuyo. Señora, ¿quiere ver? Ay, qué bonito. Sudando. En la calor. Ok. Good. So, look. I have to have dinner. Mm. ¿Por qué? Porque es cenar se dice have dinner. Desayunar, have breakfast, have lunch. Eso siempre va a ir junto, ¿ok? Got it? I have to have dinner. Tengo que cenar en ese caso. Got it? Sería en negativo. I don't have to have. Do I have to have? Do you have to have breakfast? That's a question. Do you have to have breakfast? History. Do you have to have breakfast? Yes. Yes? No. Not anymore. Not anymore. 1933, the Industrial Revolution. La Revolución Industrial obligaba a los trabajadores a tener desayuno por la rutina de trabajo que tenían, que trabajaban de sol a sol. Se creó el desayuno. Desayunar. Y se creó el cornflakes. Busquen historia de cornflakes, es bien interesante. So, no, no tenés que desayunar. You don't have to have breakfast. Eso. You don't have to have breakfast. It's not needed. Okay. I have to see the history conflict. <laughs> you have you have heard yes. the history of conflict? It's amazing. It's the great. brothers. The brothers. Uh, conflicts. Yeah, they were brothers. Conflict brothers. It's a conflict last brothers. name. It's a last name. Can you imagine? Rafael Antonio Conflict. Okay. Michelle Guevara Conflict. Okay. Fuma Rosaura Conflict. Okay. That's weird. Okay, let's continue. So, any other question with have to? No? No. But I can say I have, I have to take the breakfast. With me, yes. Take the breakfast. Oh. Y excelente nice. contexto. Tengo que llevar, tengo que tomar el breakfast, o sea, llevármelo. Ojo, uh, sí, sí, sí. I, I have, have to take, take the breakfast with me. Uh, I have to take breakfast. I have to take the breakfast. Ahí seguiría la regla de Stefan. The breakfast with me mm -hmm. to work. I have to take the breakfast with me to work. It's too late. The boss, mm -hmm. the traffic. Let's go. Good. Okay, guys. Let's move on to your book. So, I have a question. Uh, hmm. This is your mission right now. We have to speak about store. Talk about how and where people can stock, stock certain products at my workplace stock what's the meaning stock what's your inventory stock what's your inventory stock for example i have 100 tires in stock i have 200 cell phones in stock in stock <laughs> But stock is with O. With? Numeral O. And this is O. I'm not hearing you. I'm sorry, Rosalina. It's like. Okay. No, oh, it's raining. <laughs> stock. Stock is with O in Spanish. Stock. What's the, the meaning in Spanish? Uh -huh, stock. 
El stock, el... <gasps> yeah, el stock, inventory stock, el stock de inventario. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Right, inventory stock. Okay. But in this case, stock. It's okay, stale. but the word, uh-huh, stock. You stock, you pile things. One on top of the other. Okay, one on top of the other. So, for example, on the boxes, it says, do not stock over five boxes. That there's a, these are instructions on your boxes. It's something, it's something that we call a room in the inventory when we put in, in a in a philosophy. Yeah, no more than five. Sería como pilar. Right. It's the same meaning. More than five boxes. You stock the products. Okay, where people can stock certain products at my workplace. So what do you use to stock to stock products? Do you use a shelf? I'm sorry, a yes, shelf? We, yes, we, we have shelves. Shelf. Excellent. You have mm -hmm. shelves. Shelves. Mm -hmm. Okay. The products are in shelves. The products are in shelves in stores. Mm -hmm. In some mm -hmm. stores, you will see the shelves. When you go to a gas station and you go inside the store, they have shelves. What else? Where do you stock? Do you have a storage room? Do you have a storage room? It's a vitrina, storage room. Mm, no. A storage room is a room, oh, oh, yeah. it's okay. just a special room, room. Yeah. a special a room. room. Um, yeah, the most common word is shelf. Oh, let's go window shopping, Vitrina. This is the windows, window shopping. Let's go, vamos a vitrinear. Let's go window shopping. Yeah. So I don't have money. Let's go window shopping to Metro Centro. Okay. Me too. Yeah, that's vitrina. But those are not to store. You don't store in a window. No, window is more for. Uh, mm -hmm. For exhibition. Maybe it's a glass window, a glass. A glass. Um, shelf yes mm -hmm. okay for exhibition. for exhibition that's right a yeah. glass shelf mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where else do you store oh do you use a drawer to store to store things at home at home what do you use to store your things? Okay, where do you store your money? In the safe, safe box. In the safe? safe, a safe box, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a safe box? Do you how have do you a- say armario? Uh -huh. How do you say armario? <laughs> Closet. Closet? Closet. Mm, a closet is a closet. How do you say armario like? Uh, Wait. Uh, wardrobe. Check, check, check. I think this is a B. Check for me, please. This lecture. Piggy bank. Uh, well, wait, piggy bank is uh, alcancia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's, what do you do with the piggy bank? You store? Save my money. You save your money, yeah. Okay. Is this properly spelled wardrobe? wardrobe. The, B, the, the, the B is B, no, B. Is B as in burro? Yes. Like the teacher, okay, wardrobe. I knew, <laughs> I knew it. 
Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Guardarropa. Wardrobe. Guardarropa. Okay. Is drawer properly spelled? Drawer? Gaveta? Okay. Anything else? What else? What else, guys? Where do you store things? Mm -hmm. I store things in boxes. <laughs> That's it? Yeah, in boxes. Okay. Do you store things in boxes? Yes. Okay. Do you store things in briefcases? Do under my bed? Under my bed, yes. <laughs> or, or inside the bed. <laughs> yeah, the money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, that word is correct. Drawer. It's correct, drawer. thank you. Yes. Okay. So papers at the office, you store them in boxes, you store the papers in briefcases, okay? And so on and so forth. Very good. Okay, let's move it. Let's move it. So you have to ask a classmate about the product they store and where they can store them. So where they can store them, okay? And now we're gonna talk about dimensions. These are, this is vocabulary about dimensions. I kind of talk, talked about this before. Okay, we kind of talked about this before, about the features. We talked about the weight, weight dimension, quantity, quantity, okay. Okay, now let's talk about the weight, the dimension and the quantity of some objects. Tablets, a tablet's weight is about 170 grams. Repeat, grams, grams, okay? That's a tablet weight, okay? A television weights about 112.43 pounds. What? Uh, 112 pounds. 0.43 pounds. Do you think it's a big TV? Oh, yes, it is a big TV. Look, it's 41.3 inches times, okay, times 26.7 inches. Crazy measurements. So what do you think? 41.3 is what? The, the the depth or the length the length and the height the height is 26.7 26. right okay a refrigerator or refrigerators weight about 340 pounds okay or 380 pounds. So a ref refrigerators usually weight between, I'm going to say between 340 and 380 pounds. Between 340, 380 pounds, okay? Dimensions, 48 eighths, 48 eighths. This is crazy, okay. Eight inches, mm, one eighth inches, 48, one eighth inches. That's the height, right? It's just the height. 
Okay. Now we have a quantity. So we have 200 tablets, 100 televisions, 50 refrigerators. What? What is that for? Okay. Now, what conversation is this talking about? I don't think it's talking about this conversation. No, they don't mention any TVs or refrigerators in that conversation. So that doesn't make sense. Okay. But you can make a conversation out of this. How many tablets are there in the inventory? How many tablets do we have? How many tablets do we have on the inventory? We have 200. We have 200. 200. Excellent. How many televisions? 100. And how many refrigerators? 50. Uh, what kind, what kind of tablets do we have? Mm -hmm. What? Mm. How can I know the, the kind of tablet? Mm -hmm. How can I know? <laughs> okay. Um, let's oh. let's use the logic. I want mm -hmm. you to use the logic here. We have the slim tablets. <laughs> slim <laughs> tablets? Yeah. Why? <laughs> The weight. The weight. I don't know. I don't know. 170 grams. Mm -hmm. how, how many grams? Yes. They are slim. They're light. They are yeah, light. They're light. Totally. I agree. Do you agree yes, with Yes, because because I I was looking for my the weight of my cell phone is mm -hmm. 192 grams. Grams. Yeah. But how many grams are there in a pound? Oh, he say, oh, I have in, in on, oh, how do you say ounces? Ounces. Ounces. Yes. Oh, it's Very six good. point six point seventy seven on ounces. Ounces? ounces? Really? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. How many how many grams are there in one pound? I know. Come on, you go to the you go to the supermarket. Everybody. Okay, everybody can. One one pound of coffee. One pound of coffee. Mahala de oro, mahala de oro. Yeah. That's four hundred and sixty. Yeah. Mm. 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 What is it? Four hundred or four hundred and sixty grams? Come on, guys. Adriana, Ada, Patricia, Melanie, Michelle, Darwin, Carla. Come on, guys. Glory. Glorita. How many, how many grams? ¿Cuántos gramos hay en una libra, chicos? Come on. Mil. Trescientos. No. Trescientos cincuenta gramos. Cuatrocientos cincuenta gramos. 460. 60. 60. La, la libra de majada de oro trae 460 gramos. Yeah. De hecho, no, trae 400 gramos, no es la libra. Porque he escuchado que la libra es 460 gramos. 460 gramos. Right, right, very good. 460 grams. Ok, good. 460 grams. It's a pound. So, 170 grams is nothing. Yeah. That's less it's than light. <laughs> is less than the half. Yeah. Ha, less than half a pound. Less zero mm -hmm. point thirty-seven huh? pounds. Pounds. Zero point <gasps> thirty seven pounds. pounds. So because these tablets. I, I... Uh huh. Here? Yes, yeah, Stephanie. 170 grams. Aquí mm. dice que son zero point three. 0.37 libras. 0.37777. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. So it's very light. Yeah, it's so, very usamos light. la lógica para calificar qué tipo de tablets tenemos. 
Okay. What kind of TVs do we have? Mm -hmm. oh, this is 41 oh. inches times 26, 26.7. Is that big? This is like a 30, 37 inches TV. Something like that, a 37 inches TV. 30, 37. 37 inches TV. So is it big or small? Small, small TV? 37 yes. inches? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> You're so demanding. Something exigente. Oh my God. Okay. And we bought, we bought a 55 inches. Oh, it's up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. What about the refrigerator? Is it big? Michelle? Yeah. Melanie? Adriana? Come on, guys. What do you think? 340 pounds or 380. Are those big or small refrigerators? Normal. Normal refrigerator. Normal? Standard? Yes. Okay. Good. Questions? Esto es igual que en el español lo que estamos usando, usar la, estamos haciendo, estamos usando la lógica para clasificar objetos, ¿ok? Try to practice that. Eso de usar la lógica es muy útil, ¿ok? Y lo he seguido en el español, ¿o oh, no? Good. Ok. Ayer no les envié lo que les prometí, nadie me escribió. Tenían sueño. Okay. Good. Remind, remind me today. So let's look at the following um, um, examples. I don't know what conversation this is talking about, but anyways. Okay. Can one person store all the televisions oneself? Can one person store all the hundred televisions oneself by itself. What do you think? No. It no. Is impossible. No. It's too heavy and this is it's too heavy. I can no. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to split you in groups so you can answer these three little questions really quick. You only have five minutes, just five minutes and we come back, okay? Answer these three questions together as a group. We are on page 13 on your manual, page 13 on your book, okay? Let's go, let's go. Company. Oh. Yeah. Vamos a hacer Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you think? Can one person store out the televisions oneself? Um, yes. Yes. Uh, 
is um, bien poco lejos mm -hmm. Okay. Y una consulta, ¿y qué vamos a hacer? Porque no le entendí, porque no escuchaba bien. <risa> vamos a contestar esas tres preguntitas. Las tres preguntas. Uh -huh. Cuestión. Okay. Ah, Nadie las puede compartir, ¿verdad? Yo estoy de teléfono. En cuarto. Voy a salirme, ¿no? me escucho siempre. Ok. Dicen las preguntas. Can, can one person store all the television oneself? Era. Creo que store. 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 Mm. store is a verb. Store is a verb. A store is a verb. Significa almacenar. Yes. Pero... Sí, como nombre también significa tienda o almacén. ¿Y bodega? Bodega. Mm, bodega sería storage room. Storage room. Ah, oh, pues ahí. Ahí lo podría guardar en un storage room. Ah, oh, pues ahí. <laughs> Por sí mismo. Okay. And yes. Yes. The 100 TVs. Uh, uh, in this case. Why? De tables, no, tablet, tablet. But 200, the, the number is more. Than this thing. 50. But it is possible. I think yes, because the tablet is are small. Yes, for me, yes. Is hey, depende del estante. Eso lo vamos a responder. Yes, or... yes, how I have you have you have no, porque esta es obligación. Yes. Is that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. It can. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yes. If it can be stable. Okay, where can you store. store 50 refrigerators? Where can you store 50 refrigerators? Where? Donde? In your storage room. Sería at a storage room. Yeah, storage room. Mm -hmm. Así sería. How? At a storeroom. In a storeroom, in a storage room? Yeah. 
in a yeah. storage room. You can also say a warehouse. Warehouses. The warehouse is bodega. The post. Warehouse. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. La última dice que si se pueden almacenar las tablets en estantes. Shelves es estante, ¿verdad? Shelves, yes. With uh -huh. V-E-S. Con V-E-S es el plural. Solo con una F sería el singular. Shelf. Okay. Shelves. Mm -hmm. If it can be so. Mm. Yo creería que no. Oh, un, bueno, depende. Si son poquitas, sí se podrían en un estante, pero son 200. 200 tablets. 200 tablets. Depende del estante. <laughs> Tamaño. But it's way. It's heavy. It's heavy. Uh -huh. Yeah. La boteca. The storeroom. Okay, that was it, five minutes, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so how how did you answer these questions? Question number one, what was your answer? Anybody, what was your answer on question number one? No. Mm -hmm. Oh. No. No, he can't because they are too heavy and you have to handle it with care. <laughs> no, he can't. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 I was, I was wondering because can one person, you, me, him, I don't know, and I choose he, we choose he. Good. You can say that, yes. No, one person can't because they are too heavy. There are too many and they are heavy. There are too many and they are heavy. Good. Okay, where can you store 50 refrigerators? Where can you store 50 refrigerators? I think. Good. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, Sandra. Store. The store a uh, warehouse in the war the warehouse. In the warehouse. In the warehouse. Good. I can store them in the warehouse. Perfect. Okay. And last one. Someone else. Adriana, you're so quiet today. Why are you so quiet? Come on. Yes, I can. 
<laughs> can you store the tablets on the shelves? Yes. Yes, I can. I yes, can. I can. I can. Short answer. I like that. Very good. Can you store the tablets on shelves? Yes, I can. On shelves. How many tablets do we have? 200. 200 in tablets uh, on shelves. On shelves. On shelves. Yeah. Many shelves. Many shelves. Many shelves. Not just one. It's in plural. Okay. So, did you notice? No. It can't. Okay. I can, yes, I can. Remember the use of the model can. Before we get there, before we go there, uh, Patricia Linares Galdames. Yes. <laughs> Ana Michelle Guevara Sanchez. Present. Te desconectas un minuto, Ana Michelle. Sí, de hecho sí. le escribí. Y también mi hermana. Es que no veo el WhatsApp cuando estoy dando sí. clases. I'm sorry. Pero así okay. nos conectamos. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Está lloviendo fuerte, teacher. Tuve un bajo. Ok. Some sugar. Ok. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Hmm. A Sale Melanie guardado por ti y yo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Ahí está Ángel. Ahí está Angie. Está Ángela por aquí. Sí, oh, está, sí, pero... es que tiene problemas con el micrófono. Yeah, con... Ok, sí. ok, good, good. Darwin, Ay, Edgardo, grande. Ayala, Leiva. Present, teacher. Edwin, Rolando Méndez, chicas. Mm. <laughs> I can see you. Ok, present, teacher. Flor de María Carballo oh, Ugarte. Light. A Edwin se le fue la luz. Uh -huh. Flor de María Carballo, not tonight. Ok. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Giovanni Alexander Benjiva Rivera. Giovanni no se pudo conectar ahora. Ok. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Thank you. María Estela Varela Velázquez. María Esther es la que no se había conectado. Yo estaba pensando en su otra compañera. Ok, Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Uh -huh. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Ofelia Oriana Arce. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Rafael Ernesto Gómez Ventura. González Ventura. Here. Thank you. Rosalina Salgado de Serrano. Present. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present Thank you. Jancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Present. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Fidel Coreas Pascual. Sí, estaba por ahí Fidel. ¿eh? Adriana Stephanie Martínez Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Margarita Stephanie Mejibar Contreras. Ok. Present. Creo que nadie me escucha. Sí le escuchamos, Ángela. Hola. Sí, hoy sí. Ya, hoy ya de sí. hecho ya le escuchamos. Hoy sí. Cambié de micrófono. He probado como con tres. Ok. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Good. Thank you very much. Wow. Siete mensajes no había escuchado. Ok. <risa> no había leído, perdón. Eh, ok. Let's continue. So, let's talk about your friend, Ken. Remember, when do we use can? When do we use can? Um, for information. <laughs> for information. Hmm. For to express abilities. To express abilities. Estudiamos esa opción en el módulo pasado. El modal can sirve para hablar de las posibilidades, de las, la capacidad. La capacidad que tengo de hacer algo. Poder o no poder llevar a cabo una acción. Ojo. Eh, todos los modales. No me voy a cansar de repetirles esto. Todos los modales. 
se ocupan con un verbo en su forma base. Ok. Can. Stuck. Can. Stuck. No, ahí no va ING, no va el verbo en pasado. Nada, nada, nada. Ni siquiera la regla de la tercera persona, que es lo que acabamos de repasar. ¿Por qué? Porque al agregar un modal, lo que estoy haciendo es buscar un tipo de información o utilizar un tipo de información diferente. ¿Okay? En este caso voy a hablar de la posibilidad de hacer algo. ¿Okay? Possibility. Información o sobre la posibilidad de llevar a cabo una acción. Otra vez. Usamos Ken para solicitar información. Sobre la posibilidad de que alguien haga algo por nosotros. Y de nuevo, eh, siendo un imperativo, preguntarle a alguien si puede hacer algo por ti. Suena más exigente que decirle si podría hacer algo por ti. ¿Quién se acuerda cuál sí. modal era sí. para preguntarle sí. a alguien si podría hacer algo por ti? Y son sí. primos. Good. Son primos. Could. Could es el pasado de Ken. Oye, could es el pasado de Ken también. So, Ken. Ok. Where can you stock all the new products? Where can I? Where can he? Where can she? Where can we? Where can they? Hago una pregunta informativa que son las WH y ahí sí. Alguien decía, es para buscar información específica, correcto. WH words, las palabras WH como what, when, who, where, which, when, ¿Qué he dicho when, sí. Ok, how. Todas esas son para buscar información específica. El por qué, el cuándo, el cómo, con quién, ok. Para armar esas preguntas, sigo esta estructura. Okay, I have a WH, tengo una WH, las que mencioné. En este caso vamos a ocupar Ken como nuestro modal. Un sujeto. Okay, un verbo en su forma base. Y luego, a complement. Un complemento. Okay. Again, ¿estamos claros con eso? Yes, Are we clear? Yes. Ok. Si la pregunta aún tiene sentido, puedo decir que solo remuevo, remuevo la WH y continúo con la misma estructura. Ahora voy a hablar de una yes or no question. Yes or no question. Noten la diferencia. Preguntar dónde o preguntar cuándo. ¿Ok? Es diferente a preguntarle a alguien si puede hacer una acción por nosotros ok aquí no le estoy pidiendo si puede estamos preguntando que dónde podemos, que cuándo podemos y aquí le estoy preguntando te estoy preguntando can you, puedes can I, puedo can he, can she, can we, can they got it estoy preguntando si, se, si puede el sujeto llevar a cabo esta acción en otras palabras, possibility. Got it? Got it. Questions? No. Okay. No. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to split you and you have to make the questions for these answers. For example, number one, you can store them in the back room. What is the question? If the answer is you can store them in the back room. Where I can store. Hmm. No, where. Where I. Where I can mm. store. Where can I store them? Ah, falta el modal. Ok. Where I can store. No. Where can I. Where can I store. Where can store. I. Store. Uh -huh. Them. In the back room. ¿Qué cosa? No. The question no, is. In where the, they. In uh -huh. the. Ok. What is the question? 
Where can I disturb them? Where, okay. where can Ok, aquí necesito que seas muy creativo y me digas un objeto en plural. Ok. Computer. Where can I store the computers? Where can I store the computers? Oh, you can store them. In the bucket. You can store them in, oops, okay, you can store them, okay, in the back room, okay, something like that. Entonces voy a reemplazar ese them, ese, por el objeto. Good. Okay. Computer Questions? Is assisting you, my teacher. Computers. M. Computers. Oops. M. Thank you. Computers. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Very good. Teacher, what is the meaning back back room? The back room? Someone? Mm, patio, pero be, dice bodega. Bodega. Tienda. Mm, the back room. El cuarto de atrás. Cuarto de atrás. Tras, tras tienda. Tras tienda. Eh, sí. Es como una bodeguita, ¿no? The back room. El cuarto de atrás. Ok. So, let me split you and you have to make the questions. Where... Ojo, la pregunta puede empezar con una WH como veíamos, ¿ok? O con el auxiliar directamente. Es decir, puede ser una WH question o puede ser una yes, no question. Um, puede llevar where can, where can she... Sí, si es WH va a llevar eh, la WH primero. Hey, um, so, ¿cómo respondo yo? A una yes, no question, si mi auxiliar es Ken. A ver. Yes. 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 I can. Yes, Oma, I can. I can. Esta sería de manera positiva, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Esto, esto puede ser I, he, she, it, we, they, right? Yes, he can. Yes, you can. Yes, it can. ¿Y de forma negativa? No, I can't. No, I can't. Perfect. No, I can. No, you can. No, he can't. No, we can't. Got it? Ok. Así contesto a las preguntas negativas. A las preguntas cerradas, perdón. Yes or no questions. Por ejemplo, aquí tienen que hacer una pregunta. Sí. Yes, no question. Miren, yes, she can. She can sign the form. Ok. So, think about it and work together. Necesito que trabajen juntos, chicos. You can do it. Okay, let's go. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, let's go, let's go. Hello. Hello. Okay. Number two. Number two. Mm -hmm. yes. Yo creo que sería, can she sign the form? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sé que aquí no, sé que aquí no me necesitan. I know. Teacher, because the, the, the answer, yes, she can. She can sign the form. We can ask, can she sign the document? Yeah, because mention the sign. Yeah, yes. que no me necesitan. Sí. <laughs> sí. Yes, yes, we need you. <laughs> no, you know, you know, very good, continue. Number three. Pero sí necesito que se aseguren de una cosa. Uh 
que todos comprendan en el grupo lo que están haciendo, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, ahorita, ¿por qué dijimos Ken en lugar de decir where Ken? O when Ken. Es una pregunta yes or no. Una pregunta cerrada, sí o no. Ok, very good. Keep going. Ok. Where can I... Where can I... Store the computer. Uh, <coughs> Ana. Ah. Oh. ¿Por qué me dijeron Ana? <risa> no moleste, qué raro sentí. Anita. Anita, mire, es, hágame un favor. Aquí, ¿Qué? no, le voy a recomendar una cosa. Fíjense que aquí aparece una plumita. Yo la acabo de descubrir también. Y con esa, las notas que tomes no, no, te van a, no se te van a borrar del PDF. La plumita. Arriba, mano derecha. Ay, espérame. ¿En directo en PDF? Ajá, ajá, ajá. Una plumita. Ay, ah, sí. ya, ya, ya. ya. ya <ríe> la plumita. ¿Sale más mejor así? Bye. Más mejor. ¿Y sabes que en inglés se puede decir much better? More better. Yeah, it's much better. Pero se traduce, es mucho mejor. Ahí está. Click again. Click again. Click again. There you go. Ok. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, it's very useful. Bye. Porque Ay, tengo que escribirlo todo otra vez. Lazy. Me cuesta. Store. Tiene que llevar el computer. Computer. Este. Y aquí no importa si te equivocas, después puedes regresar y corregirlo. ¿eh? Ah, por lo menos. Uh -huh. Stores. Así, aquí. Mm, no, no. Ah, no, 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 ya no. Ah, sí. No, don't say perdón. <laughs> Where can I store the computers? Them. Very good. Okay, next. Next. Uh, <laughs> Can she sign the form? Sign. Good sign. 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 Can she sign the form? Good. Very good. Okay, continue. Can she sign the form. True. When day or when can? When When can day? Uh huh. Oh, sí, perdón. When can they? When can they? He left the boxes tomorrow. Pile up. Pile up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boxes tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, yo no diría tomorrow. Porque tomorrow sería la respuesta. Yes, it's the box. Mm -hmm. Solamente así, teacher. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. When can they pile up the boxes? Oh, they can pile up the box tomorrow. You can store it. In house. Um, Where? Where can you? Okay. Where can... Where can you? Mm -hmm. Where can I? Where? Where can I? Where can you? Where can I? Perdón. Ojo, ahí podría ser I o we. We. Where can we? Store the. The name. Night. Night. cars. ¿Qué me pasó aquí? Can we store the... Mm. Esta cosa me está... Hay, hay, un botón, hay un botón que dice insertar o insert Ajá. en su teclado. Si lo presionó, va a, so, va a sobreescribir. 
si lo vuelve a presionar, ya no va a pasar eso. Ok. okay. Where, can, where we... can we store? Store. Where can we store? Store the Ah, pues está presionando el botón inicio. Ajá. Ya sé, ya sé, ya sé. Se había. Eran los números. Ah, se habían apagado, ok. Ajá. Cars on. Así sería. Where can we store the 90 cars? Ok, así. You can store 90 cars on the warehouse. Ajá. Ok. And the last one. Um, yes, I can. Aquí sería. Can you? Can you do? Can you give you information? Hmm. Can you give you? No. Can, can you, you give? Give. Me? Give. give me. Um, give me information. Uh -huh, information of the product. <laughs> good, good. Oh, okay. Very good. Ah, uh, chicos, así, verdad? Les recuerdo, solo a recordarles, en, si estuviesen en la plataforma, les daría error la plataforma. ¿Por qué? ¿Todos? Por, por los signos. Eh, hay que, hay que... Ah, ya yes, es cierto. Lo puse. <risa> no los tendría que haber puesto. ¿verdad? Sí, ajá, pero solo... A... Ajá. Ah, ya, recuerden, ¿eh? Ajá. Ok. Very good. You got it. Tómenle un screenshot. Yes, yes. Tienen un minuto, ok. You have one minute. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's wait for your classmates, 13 seconds. And let's resolve together that exercise. Um, esta noche se, se quedaría Ofelia Orellana 10 minutos después de la clase. Ok. Ofelia. Ok, teacher. Ok, good. Ok, guys, let's do this together. One second. Okay, let's do this together. So, number two. Yes, yeah, she can. Yo she can sign the form. Nada, nada. Uh, no estábamos hablando. <laughs> Hi, Osmin. 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 Hello. Okay. Okay, number two, guys. Number two. Can, can she sign the form? Easy. Can she sign the form? Can she sign the form? Very good. Number three, Darwin. Number three, can we move at the television? 
Can we move all the televisions? Can we move all the televisions? Teacher, ahí no sería can you move. Excelente. ¿Por qué? Porque les estoy preguntando a ellos. <laughs> oh, mm. wow. Hmm. ¿Qué dice el público? I think it's... I have a doubt, but I think it's... Y esa, y esa duda, querida amiga mía, es, está en lo cierto también. Ambas respuestas son correctas. ¿Qué es lo que cambia, chicos? El, el contexto. Si yo estoy allí y yo soy parte uh -huh. de la acción que vamos a llevar a cabo... cabo no, 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 estamos bien. Can we? Yo estoy oh, dentro del we? grupo. Hey, podemos mover los televisores. No, no podemos. No, no podemos can. mover los televisores. Ok. Hey, can you move the telev all the televisions? ¿Pueden mover ustedes todos los televisores? No, we can. We can move all the televisions. Ustedes. Okay. Request. Request. Sería una solicitud. Ok. And can we? Sería como a manera de sugerencia, dado pedir permiso. Mm. Ok, no, sugerencia, porque estoy dentro del grupo yo. Ya, yeah. ok. Todo depende del contexto. Lo más apropiado, sí, podría ser you. Ok. Y quería hablarles de eso en un segundo. So, next. They can pile up the boxes tomorrow. When can they pile up the Pile up the boxes. Pile up. Repeat, pile up. Pile, pile up. Pile up. Pile up. Yes. Yeah. When can they pile up the boxes? Okay. Number five. Osmin? Y estoy en mi teacher que estuve conectado como una... 30 minutos, no tenía internet. Oh, ok, ok. ¿Jancy? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Everybody says yes. Ok, number five, Jancy, you can... <laughs> ok, <laughs> perdón. El... Five. Mm -hmm. Where can you start the 19th card? Where can you? Uh, see, where can you start? Okay, where can you start 90 cars? ¿Qué dice el público? No podría ser where can I? Yes. O. Oh. Volvemos, volvemos al mismo dilema anterior, ajá. ¿eh? We, where can we? Yes. Yeah. Where can we? Where can we store the ID cards? You can store the ID cards in a warehouse. I? Or where can, where can I? I? Sí, porque uh -huh. para responder voy a ocupar you en ambos casos, ya sea you de ustedes o you de tú. Ok, hey. where can we? Ok, pero son 90 carros, creo que no lo va a hacer una sola persona, ¿verdad? Ok, <laughs> do you think? Ok, and last one. Thank you, Jancy, that was great. The yes. last one, volunteer, someone, Melanie. No era volunteer. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay. Victim. Come on. Um, six. Can you, can you give me information of the product? Perfect. Okay. Can you give me information of the product? Yes, I can. I can give you information of the product. Is that right? Okay, y ese es un claro ejemplo. This is a clear example. 
Ocupo you y contesto con I. Ocupo me okay, y contesto con you. Ojo con el reemplazo de los sujetos y los objetos en las preguntas. Can you give me? Yes, I can. I can give you. I can give you. I give you. Okay, let's move on. Imagine that new products and materials just arrived at your workplace. So ask and say where others can stock them. Okay, so let's do this together. I want you to use your creativity. Quiero que ocupes mucho tu creatividad ahorita y pienses en que acaban de llegar muchos productos. Quiero que todos imaginen que están trabajando en un almacén, eh, en un supermercado, ¿ok? Y acaba de llegar mucha mercancía. So, where do you store? Where do you store the vegetables? Hmm? In the refrigerator. Uh -huh. In the refrigerator. Mm, actually, they have stands, don't they? They have stands. They have racks. Racks, 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 racks. They have racks for the vegetables at the supermarket, don't they? And what about the meat? Where can I store the meat? The freezer. Excellent. Yes. In the freezer. Okay, good. Freezer. There you go. Si no entendieron la referencia, estamos mal. Okay, stands. Yes, teacher. Rams. <laughs> Sir, you got it right, Rafa. Good. Okay. Questions? No? Okay. Bien, guys. Aquí sí, necesito que trabajen en equipo. Piensen en vocabulario. ¿De dónde se almacena cada cosa? Okay. The TV is en un almacén de, de verduras, un almacén de... Ah, imagínense que tienen una tienda. Como un 7-Eleven en Estados Unidos, okay? Where do you store things? ¿Dónde, dónde almacenan las cosas, okay? Be creative. Sure. Okay, mucho trabajo en equipo. Let's do it. It's a conversation, remember. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, it's mm -hmm. a conversation mm -hmm. and you can do something like, hey, where can I store the tomatoes? Think about going to the supermarket. Okay. okay. Acabas de llegar del supermarket a tu casa y, y los niños están ayudando a guardar las cosas, okay? So, <laughs> lógico que te van a preguntar, hey, where can I store the, the eggs? Where can I store the eggs? Okay. You can put them, you can put them on on the kitchen. Just put them on the kitchen. Okay. Hey, where can I store the chicken? Where can I store the chicken? Okay. Okay. Remember, it's a conversation, guys. Hey. Yeah. Bueno, comencemos que. Esa cosa me delata. No me gusta ese. Ya habíamos recording. empezado, pero llegó. Ya, ya llegó. Ya llegó. Ya llegó. Come on, guys. <laughs> my, my name is not Sergio. Hey, just imagine that you go to the supermarket. And you just came from the supermarket and your kids start asking, hey, where can I store the eggs? 
where can I store the eggs? Okay. Donde puedo... Huevos. Ajá, ajá. Where, puedo los huevos? where can I store the eggs? Oh, you can put them on the kitchen. You can put them on the kitchen. In the refrigerator. Oh, you, do you... Refrigerator. Really? Do you store the eggs in the refrigerator? Understand. Really? Bueno, en San Miguel si se guardan en el refrigerador los huevos, ¿verdad? Sí. No, sí. Nacen los pollitos. Sí, se los guarda ahí. No. Ok, ok, you got the idea, right? Yo decía, ya entendieron la idea, right? Oh, teacher. Come on. Ok, continue. Sí, Tiene razón. Yeah, ok, keep going. Ah. Hay cookies, bread. Voy a hacer eso. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Your microphone is on. I know, I know it was on. Sorry. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry, guys. Si los niños están haciendo tareas, es que mira, te voy a leer esto. Mira cómo me quedo. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Es que en el día en el call center sí puedo estar poniendo mute o no tengo llamada, entonces puedo estar interactuando con ellos y ayudándoles en sus tareas, pero ahorita no. So, no se acostumbran. Ok, so this is like if you go to the supermarket, for example. Ok, and when you come back, your kids go like, mom, where can I store... The beef. Oh, yes. Where can I store the sugar? Yes, so, how, how do you say alacena in English? Yes. You, you don't say pantry. You say cupboard. Cupboard. Where can I store the rice? Where can I store the cereal? What can I store the jam, the cheese, jam, the cheese right? The eggs. Okay, so start making questions and giving answers. That's all. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 ¿Cómo se dice refrigeradora? Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Can I? Remember, you're making questions and giving answers. Mom, where can I store the coffee? Where can I store the sugar? Where, where can I store the soda? In the cupboard, in the cupboard, el chinero, I mean the alacena, cupboard. Almacén, um, um, perdón, um, alacena, alacena, cupboard. ¿Cómo le decimos a la alacena aquí? Sí. Pantry, ¿verdad? Pantry le llamamos Pantry. a la... Pantry. Yeah. That's something else, yes. The cupboard. cupboard. You can store them in the cupboard. Mm -hmm. Where can I store the toilet paper? Really? Really? Uh -huh. Can I store the toilet paper in the bathroom? Or in the bodega? In the storage room? Oh, in the storage room. Yeah. Water, I mean, warehouse. Warehouse, 
es un almacén pero enorme Hello. donde caben 90 carros ah ya yeah. uh -huh. that's a warehouse big okay. warehouse y pequeña entonces store um, store room store room uh -huh. store room ready glass okay Why, why can you store it? Ah, where can I stack the toothpaste? Where can I stack the toothpaste? Very good. Uh huh. ¿De qué? Ah. <laughs> good. No Spanish. I like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can store it. Ah, o sea que, ya entendí. ¿En anywhere? Ajá, ajá. Come on, make Let's your examples. Make your examples. Oh. Why can't I study the, the, the book? The book or what? The, the books? I can the, book? store the, the books. Where can I store the books? Wait. Where? Oh, where, no. Nelson? In the, the bookstore? In, um, in the bookshelf? The, in the bookshelf? The bookshelf. Bookshelf. Mm -hmm. How do you say in, bookshelf? In um, libre, book. Librera, in the librera, right? The bookshelf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bucho. Bucho. Okay. Um, we can story. Remember, you can also say yes or no questions. Can I store? Can I store the files? You can also say, can I save? Can I put? Can I save? Can I save the checks? Can I save the checks in your desk? Can I save the checks in your desk? Of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah, okay. But but <laughs> sign them. But sign them. Oh, yes, sign. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good job. Okay, keep going, keep going. Come on. We can store. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. Hello. No, no, no. Hello. Hagamos como si no nos dimos cuenta. Qué mala onda. A mí no me gusta ese recording. No me gusta. Porque me delanta. Nosotros sí, nosotros sí. Ajá. Give me your examples. Give me your examples. Where can I store in the um, clothes? Clo clo clothes. Closing. Oh, oh clo clo Where can I store? Where can I store the clothing? The clothing. Closing. Uh -huh. Where can I store the clothing? Where can I store in the clothing? Clothing. Closing. Closing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh. In the wardrobe? In the wardrobe? In the closet? In it, in it, or in the closet, yes. The wardrobe or the closet. How do you say zapatera? Good question. I don't remember what that word. Can I start when can I use? My shoes. Yeah, there, there was a way. Wait a minute. A shoe rack. A shoe rack. Shoe rack. A shoe rack or cobbler. You can say cobbler or shoe rack right now. Shoe rack. Shoe rack. Cobbler. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. 
You can, mm -hmm. okay. Can I put my shoes on the shoe rack? Can I put my shoes on the shoe rack? Yes. Can I? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Can I? Yes, I can. Can I put my put. shoes on the shoe rack? Puedo poner mis zapatos en la zapatera? Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Yes, you yes, can. can. Yes, yes, you can. can. Ah, yes, you can. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Ah, ahora bien, sí, muy bien. Y si te pregunto, can you, can you put your shoes on the shoe rack? Has dejado tirado los zapatos, está de visita y los dejado tirado en la sala. Can you put your shoes on the shoe rack? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Ajá, yes, sí. Very good. Okay. Okay, let's go back. When can I start? Where were you coming back from, Edwin? Where are you working now? I'm working, I'm still working in El Paisnal, teacher. In El Paisnal? Sí. Saca, te coloca? No, eh, cerca de Chalatenango. Near to Chalatenango, wow. Sí. Okay, guys, so a little feedback really quick. So if you noticed, a ver, si notaron, eh, los ejemplos eran con store, el verbo store. ¿Qué quiere decir el verbo store? Guardar, ajá. ¿Qué más? Almacenar. Almacenar. Very good. Store, guardar o almacenar. Pero ustedes lo podrían haber cambiado también. Por ahí me hacían una pregunta. How do you say zapatera? Me decía Mayra. Ok. How do you say zapatera, Mayra? In English. Shoe rack. Shoe rack. Shoe rack. O. Son chat. Son chat. Cobbler. 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 You can say cobbler. Zapatera. Cobbler. Okay. Y me gustó que hablamos del ejemplo. Okay. Where podías haber ocupado eh, una pregunta abierta. Where can I put my shoes? Where can I store my shoes? Where can I put my shoes? Where can I... Where can I leave my shoes? Where can I leave my shoes? Okay. O podrías haber hecho una pregunta cerrada. Okay. Can I put my shoes in the shoe rack? Can I put my shoes on the shoe rack? Okay. La respuesta sería, yes, you can. Okay. La respuesta sería, you can leave them, you can leave them or put them in the shoe rack, on the shoe rack, I'm sorry, on, well, I'm sorry, in or on, in the shoe rack. Or in the, lo ocupamos el otro, cobbler, no es muy común, cobbler. You can leave them in the, in the cobbler. 
Okay. Questions? <laughs> How do you say exhibidor, teacher? Exhibidor, exhibidor. That's a rack. It's a rack. Mm, okay. Rack. Como donde se ponen los cigarros. Ajá. Uh -huh, donde uh -huh. se ponen las vistas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Es okay. que esta palabra, shelf, tiene muchos sinónimos. Rack, stand. stand shelf, mm -hmm. rack, stand. Uh, display, display, mm -hmm. display. Uh, organizer, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. hooks, and so on. Los ganchos, okay. The organizer hooks, the display hooks, the stand hooks, shelf hooks, rack hooks. <laughs> okay. Good. Um, that's it. Very simple. Okay. So let's do the attendance and make sure you practice. Recuerden, todo lo que vamos aprendiendo es, es muy necesario que lo practiquen. Se pueden meter desde ahí a la plataforma y empezar a terminar la unidad 1. Si sienten que pueden practicar con la 2, igual no hay problema. Ok. Cualquier cosa, igual es de la orden. Este día se quedará Ofelia. A los 10 minutos de la sesión privada. Ok. A la Patricia Linares Galdames. Yeah. Thank you. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Present, teacher. Thank you. A Salia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Present, teacher. Darwin Edgardo Ayala Leiva. Present, teacher. Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. Okay. Flor de María Carballo Garte. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good night. Good night. Giovanni Alexander Benjiva Rivera. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. María Estela Varela Velázquez. Ya tarde, pero se logró conectar. No la veo. Creo que tenía problemas con el Inter. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Thank you. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present, teacher. Cool. Good night. Yes. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Here. Good night. Good night, Rafa. Rosalena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good night. Good night. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present. ¿Qué? Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Here. Good night. Good night. Suma Rosaura López García. Present. Thank you. Fidel Coreas Pascual. Present. Thank you. Adrián Stephanie. Good night. Adrián Stephanie Martínez Flores. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Margarita Stephanie Menjibar Contreras. Present. Thank you. Bye, guys. Take care. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello, Ophelia. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hey, thank you, teacher. <laughs> Great. <risa> a ver, yo tengo la misma pregunta que le he estado haciendo a todos ¿qué he uh -huh. estado haciendo en estas dos semanas? ¿qué he hecho para mejorar el inglés? ay teacher, no hice nada en estas dos semanas. Ofelia, <risa> por el amor de Dios y que me puse a hacer tarea del niño con él no ay nada, yo sé, yo sé no se preocupe, yo la comprendo como no tiene idea cuesta, ¿verdad? y está en escuela sí. pública Ajá, el mío también está guiando, aunque le dejan la guía de COVID y las otras tareas que le den. Muy exagerado, ¿cuántas tareas les están dejando, verdad? Sí, porque a mi niño un viernes le dejaron 10 tareas por el Día de, la, día de las Madres. 10 eh, planes, y a los niños les falta de las planas. ¿Y a qué grado estoy yendo? A Kinder 5, va. ¿A Kinder 5? Ay. 
Sí, está, está comenzando a aprender. No, sí, sí tiene que ponerse a la par de él para Ajá. que aprenda a escribir y a, y a leer. Nosotros sí. hicimos el sacrificio de meter a la niña pequeña a prepa, le tocaba ir. Sí. Y pues porque vimos que el año pasado, por muy buena que fuera la maestra que tenía en Kinder 5, uh -huh. Dios mío, este, nos costó con ella. Y a sí. pesar de que suena, suena risible estar haciendo dibujitos y estrujando papel y todo, uh -huh. pero ahorita está en, pre, en, en prepa y ahí sí le recomiendo, mire, que invierta, sí. si es necesario, sí. porque... Porque la niña está yendo a una escuelita pequeña, como de no más de seis, uh -huh. seis niños van nada más. Una, una señora joven, uh -huh. de hecho, que le enseña a sus hijos, a sus sobrinos, y ha aceptado a la niña y a otros niñitos. Entonces, sí. pero mi hija ya está aprendiendo a escribir. Sí. Ah, sí. Y lleva que sí. cinco, no, cuatro meses tienen prácticamente de estar yendo. Uh -huh. Y le encanta leer. Le, le encanta, encanta. ¿eh? O sea, está uh -huh. empezando a leer. Un día estos agarró una lata y se puso a leer. ¿Verdad que esto? Dice, ¿qué me dijo? Dios mío, dije, ¿cómo es posible? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <risa> Buenísimo. No, si, si los niños son inteligentes, o lo que hay que ponerle atención uno para estar explicando. Igual nosotros somos muy inteligentes, sí, pero <risa> nos tenemos, ¿sabe uh -huh. qué es lo que perdemos? Le perdemos sí. el interés al estudio, le perdemos el amor a esas ganas de querernos superar entonces sí, le sí. invito a que haga eso que la retome sí. vaya sí. en este módulo yo les estoy este sugiriendo uh -huh. que hagan algo extra por cada semana de clase o sea unas una tarea por semana imagínense uh -huh. necesito que se haga una pregunta una pregunta uh -huh. una pregunta abierta vamos con el presente simple con usted vaya fácil uh -huh. eh, la pregunta sería, what do you do every day? Tan fácil. What do you do every day? Aquí la voy a poner para que la copie. What do you do every day? Una pregunta fácil. Acuérdese, el presente simple es el sujeto, el verbo y el complemento. Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Ok. Entonces, ¿qué va a hacer Ofelia? Ofelia, mañana mm -hmm. va a contestar esa pregunta. What do you do every day? Cópila. What do you do every day? Ahí está en el, en el chat. Ajá. Ay, déjeme, no se preocupe. <risa> no, teacher, aquí estoy. A lo que me salí porque estoy en el teléfono. Ahí voy, otra vez. Sí, está bueno, no se preocupe. <risa> aquí estoy, teacher. Vaya, vaya. Ah, esto voy a copiar la pregunta. Vaya. Entonces, esa pregunta, Fela la va a contestar mañana y va uh -huh. a decir, every day I wake up at 4 a.m., I take a shower, I prepare my kids to go to school. No me diga lo que en realidad hace, quiero que se invente una historia. Es más, okay. es más quiero que se imagine cómo desearía que fuese su vida, la vida uh -huh. perfecta, a qué hora se levantaría todos los días... ¿Qué sería lo primero que haría? Si saliera, saldría a correr, a hacer oración, lo que sea. En sí, presente. Entonces en quedaría, presente. quedaría algo así como me levanto a las... Todos los días me levanto a las 7 de la mañana. No me baño, salgo a correr con mi, con mi perro, a respirar aire fresco. Entonces le invito a que lo haga en, pre, en español primero. En español. ¿no? Y después haga el esfuerzo de traducirlo. Y si no encuentra alguna palabra aquí... Me voy al traductor. Uh -huh. Solo si no encuentro la palabra aquí, ah, me voy al traductor. Ok, ok, okay uh -huh. Y sigo. Paso uno. Paso dos. Me envía lo que haya hecho. Me lo sí, envía teacher. por WhatsApp. Yo se lo voy a, a corregir y a grabar con mi voz. Y usted va a empezar a escuchar y a repetir. Escuchar y repetir. Escuchar repetir. y repetir. Una vez usted logre grabar un audio con su voz que sienta que al darle play a mi audio y a su audio ya se escucha bastante similar, me lo envía de regreso. Ok, teacher. ¿Ya? Ojo, ¿eh? Puede volver a ver este video de la sesión en, en, en la plataforma y, y, y ver los pasos, ¿eh? Cada uno. Claro, esto toda la semana tiene para hacerlo. De hoy es miércoles hasta el otro miércoles. El miércoles próximo, si me acuerdo, primero Dios. Le voy a preguntar a Ofelia qué pasó. 
<risa> ok, teacher. Okay. ¿Le parece? Sí, teacher. Está bien. Ay, vale. ¿Qué preguntas tiene? ¿Qué, ¿Cómo se ha sentido ahora en las clases? Sí, que uh, ha sentido que como estoy agarrado más confianza, ya no me da miedo para hablar. Eso es uh -huh. importante, muy importante. Uh -huh. okay. Sí, porque antes, en veces podía, podía y cuando podía hablar, me ponía a hablar, ya me daba nervio, ya no, ya no podía decir la palabra. Sí, a un español le pasa esto. Ajá, Cuando está entre sí. muchas personas hablando le da pena. Ajá, en español. Sí. En español, sí. Ajá, usted que yo, yo, yo la veo así como que le da penita hablar y mejor se queda callada. Yo tengo una tía que es así. Ajá. Oiga, cuando agarra confianza. Ajá. Así somos. Pero hay que sí. botar ese miedo, ¿eh? Hay que botar sí, ese miedo. Ajá. Y lo que vaya sí, aprendiendo, fíjese que... Uh -huh. Ahorita, ahorita podría aprovechar. ¿Cuántos años tiene su hijo? Cinco tiene. Podría empezar usted a buscar palabras fáciles y decírselas en español y en inglés. Uh -huh. sí, sí. Television. Uh -huh. Televisor. Uh -huh. Television. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Television. Uh -huh. Y que repita él las dos cosas. Sí, ok. ¿Ya? Ok, dígale sí. mano, hand, uh -huh. hand, uh -huh. ojos. Uh -huh. Ah, Ajá. Okay. Cántele okay. canciones así entonando con las palabras que vaya descubriendo. Ajá, que... ajá. Sí. No tiene alguna otra pregunta, algo más. No, no solamente eso, Tichi. Bueno, ok. Bye. Cualquier cosa estamos Bye. a la orden, Ofelia. Bye. Feliz noche. Bye. Gracias. Good night. Good night.